Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to resolve the error connection reset that you're experiencing on your Google Chrome web browser. So, you would typically be accompanied with a message that says that this website is not available. The connection to was interrupted, and it says that the connection was reset. So hopefully it should be a pretty straightforward process here, guys. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump straight into it. So first thing I recommend doing, make sure you're not having a problem just with your internet connection in general. If you're having problems with other websites as well, it means it's likely an issue with your internet connection, which we will address in today's tutorial. However, if it's an issue with the website server, and it's only one particular website you're having the problem with, there's a good chance there's really nothing you can do to actually make that error go away, and that the website's having some difficulties at that time. So just want to put that out there. And we're going to go ahead and jump right into it. So start off by opening up the search menu and type in CMD. Best match, come back with command prompt. Go ahead and right click on it and select run as administrator. If you receive the user account control prompt, select yes. And now you want to type in ipconfig space forward slash flush DNS. Flush DNS should all be one word attached to that forward slash out front. Hit enter on the keyboard should come back a Windows IP configuration successfully flush the DNS resolver cache. Now you want to type in NETSH space WinSock W-I-N-S-O-C-K space reset exactly how you see it on my screen. Hit enter on your keyboard once again. Should come back with successfully reset the WinSock catalog. You must restart the computer in order to complete the reset. Proceed to close out of here and any open programs and applications and then restart your device. And then hopefully your issue has been resolved. If you're still having a problem with your internet connection, we could try resetting our network adapter back to default. You will need to have your Wi-Fi credentials nearby once our computer restarts because you're going to need to enter them back in because we're going to be resetting everything back to default. Make sure you have it noted down somewhere. And then open up the search menu and type in settings. Best match, come back with settings. Go ahead and open that up. Select network and internet on the left side. And then on the right, go down and select Advanced Network Settings. And then underneath More Settings, select Network Reset. Reset all network adapters to factory settings. This will remove and reinstall all of your network adapters and set other networking components back to their original settings. You might need to reinstall other networking software afterwards, such as VPN, client software, or virtual switches. Your PC will be restarted. Select the Reset Now button. Are you sure you want to reset your network settings? Select yes. And now you will have to sign out and restart within five minutes. So let's just go ahead and actually initiate that process. Pretty straightforward process there, guys. Do hope I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.